It was 1947 in Poland. The war was over and I was working with distribution of aid from Scandinavian and American churches. I remember women, children and old people living in the most miserable conditions. They were like a grey and silent army of poor and starving people. The Lutheran Church in the northern part of Poland, former German Masuria, had lost more than half of its members during the war. Shortage of pastors and lack of spiritual strength was there, as well as many, very many demolished church buildings. Such was the reality for many churches in Europe after the war. Yet despite such despair and loss of hope, church people from Europe, North America, South America and Asia came to peaceful Sweden in June 1947. They arrived here at the railway station in Lund. Swedish pastor Hermann Schlitter was one of those who greeted the delegates. I stood just here waiting for delegates from different countries coming to the first General Assembly of the Lutheran World Federation. It was not sure that all of them could come. It was the time after the Second World War, so they had to get permission from their countries to go aboard. Here, on film, some of the ceremony the of that first assembly. The leaders of the World Lutheran Church joined ranks in Christian love, brushing aside the resentments and misunderstandings of the past to seek a renewal of faith to examine the problems of the future and to pledge themselves to united action in rebuilding the church the world over. I was happy to see representative of the young Lutheran churches in China, Japan, Madagascar and other parts of Africa and Asia and of the Latin America. As a matter of fact, I do think it was the first time as the young Lutheran churches become a real part of the worldwide Lutheran church. One of the great purposes of the Lund Assembly was the formation of the Lutheran World Federation. A constitution was adopted and signed by the delegates. Officials were elected. Provisions were made for the appointment of national committees and permanent working commissions were planned. Now, five years later, here we were, meeting again. But how different this second gathering was from the first. How we had grown. Lutherans from 52 separate and autonomous member churches, 26 countries, and representing about 50 million people. In fact, the largest international Protestant church in the world. During the assembly in Hanover, the departments of World Service and World Mission were established. One after another, various representatives of our worldwide church inspired us with their timely messages. I shall never forget Bishop Bergraf of Norway. Obedience to God always comes first. Any totalitarian state which exercises tyranny over men is an enemy of God and therefore must be opposed. The church must not employ force against such a state, but the Christian citizen must resist it. In Minneapolis, delegates gathered from 32 countries. They saw their church as a servant in a changing world of new nations and Cold War. LWF President Fry addressing the Minneapolis and Assembly. Her Lord. In Christ we are free and one. The Holy Spirit quickens our imagination, arouses our courage, sobers our wishfulness, strengthens our patience. <laughs> Sunday, August 25th is memorable as the final day of the Third Assembly and as the date of the greatest single gathering of Lutherans ever to take place in the Western Hemisphere. They came from near and far to witness the concluding festival service 
held on the approach to the Minnesota state capitol in St. Paul. And through this veritable sea of people, the enrobed delegates and visitors marched together once again in solemn procession. More of the world's Lutherans had now joined the LWF, and the assembly in Helsinki was not able to reach theological agreement on full fellowship between Lutherans. A new institute for ecumenical research was founded. The LWF was to meet in Brazil, but in an act of protest against human rights violations there, it withdrew and decided to meet near its headquarters in Geneva. It went on to take a strong stand for human rights and against racism, and heard the new and stronger voice of its youth. At its first assembly in the Third World, the LWF took an unequivocal stand against apartheid and promoted the concerns of women and youth, while still trying to reconcile diversity in Christ. The first African LWF president was elected, Bishop Kibera of Tanzania. The whole Lutheran World Federation meets for the first time in Eastern Europe. This assembly was held in a new indoor stadium in the Hungarian capital. 330 delegates and many others from all the member churches gathered under the theme In Christ, Hope for the World. A new freedom. As true Lutherans, we know that it is only through the grace of God that we will achieve anything here in Budapest. The words of outgoing LWF President Kibera, spoken for him by his fellow Tanzanian Anzalema. Thousands came from all over Hungary and from Eastern Europe to join the international delegates in Budapest for the opening worship, 12,000 in all. the people of Hungary, and especially those of the Lutheran Church in this land, make us mindful of their sacrifices and their hope, and worthy to continue the part they the faith. these days to build a strong and everlasting bridges between Lutheran Christians in East and West, North and South. Let all of us, both the privileged and the underprivileged, do our utmost to try to imagine ourselves being in the situation in which our brothers and sisters live under totally different conditions from our own. Our great advantage of our political meetings is that we know that our first concern is to seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit whose first fruit is love, and love produces miracles. Among our Lutheran churches, we have a long history of mission work. From the beginning, cross-bearing and sacrifice were seen as integral parts of the missionary vocation. Today, we are called to renew and deepen this spirit of a total commitment to servanthood in the manner and style of all that is said and done. Whether the mission outreach is with one's home country or far away in a foreign place. Miriam, you was Jugujoram. Asi Tuom Mungu Manyenzi, Manyarehema. Nashukuya Kwamba, Kweli, Umetupa, Tuandeleko, or Budu. Namba, Mibariki Numba, he, and the woman, the water, Kuba and Brogo, and Atawa water. When they left, who penned away. As some say, dear Mama Senge, and by the Makabuzo, you can do.
det kommer nu. Så ska vi det tillsammans. Herre, vi ber dig för vår gemenskap. Och vi tackar för att vi har varandra, att vi är många vänner här i Gustafsberg. Karin Oljelund is a Swedish pastor. She was one of the delegates in Budapest. The South Africans, the Namibians and the Africans want to go back convinced that the Christian Lutheran world stands four square behind their struggle for liberty, for humanity, at least to be what God intends them to be, not what man wants them to be. Youth, coming from their own pre-assembly youth gathering, challenged the delegates to listen to the cries of young people for help and to look at questions of peace and justice together, linking east and west and north and south. From the beginning of its history, the Lutheran World Federation has had the task of bringing churches spread all over the world together in closer contact with each other. At first it was a task of building bridges between communities that had been at war with each other and bringing communities of sufferers together. Through the years, the Federation has been engaged in this important function and has grown as a community to the point where here at the Budapest Assembly, we have declared that we are one single communion, that all of our churches are in communion with each other. This has been a very important milestone in the history of world Lutheranism. We have also learned here at Budapest the task of building bridges between nations, nations of East and West and North and South, meeting on the grounds of a socialist country of Eastern Europe. Again, building bridges for the future with the theme, In Christ, Hope for the World. We are creatures created by God, sharing this earth at the same time in history. We are members of the same and only church, the Church of Jesus Christ. During the assembly, participants visited congregations all over Hungary experiencing for themselves their unity with Christians from Eastern Europe. <laughs> Even life together in this federation is still characterized to a very high degree by tremendously different economic conditions among our 97 member churches. In the light of our brave declarations from the Evian and Dar es Salaam assemblies, the Lutheran churches in Asia, Africa, and Latin America are supposed to be equal partners of those in the North. But how far are we in the development of such true partnership and equality? There has certainly been increased sharing. The most spectacular and well-known part of the activities of our Federation is probably what is done through our Department of World Service to alleviate the waste of human suffering. There we undoubtedly give fresh hope to millions of people in a very concrete way. Abu Tahir, Bade Kishtapur, Ye Esamne, Guru Jerkwa, Ye Ap Hap Mai Lobe, Ye Tarpara Gorbing Alabish, Ye Tarpara Gorbing Alabish, Ye Tarpara Gorbing Alabish, Ye Tarpara Gorbing বৃষ্টি পড়তে লাগলো তারপর আমরা এক জায়গায় আশ্রয় নিলাম কাজতলাতে কাজতলাতে আশ্রয় নিয়ে তারপর ওখানে থাকলাম ঘর ঘর পড়ে গেল বৃষ্টি রাতে আমরা এই যে গঙ্গার ভাঙনে তারপরে ঘর পড়ে আলো পড়ে যাওয়া এক জায়গায় আশ্রয় নিলাম কাজতলাতে আমরা গঙ্গাই আমাদের ঘর বাড়ি পড়ে গিয়েছিল আমরা ওই ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হওয়াতে আমরা এখানে লুসারিন আমাদের ঘর দিয়েছিল ওই জন্য আমরা এখানে এখানে এসেছি এবং এখানে এসে আমাদের ঘরের 
माई छाटे जब उसे जैसे आमी तारापुर कॉलोनी थे ऐसे ची ऐसे आमी रिक्शा समाधि कॉलोनी थे के एक खाना पी ऐसी शे रिक्शो आमी बालवच्चा नी संसार को रे मैरिज को रे खाते ची but knowing the condition of the Christians in my own diocese in the middle of Africa, I simply have to say the exchange of resources between our churches has up to now had very little to do with real dignity and sharing. St. Paul thinks it is good theology to relate Christ's self-emptying and becoming poor even though he was rich to the equal sharing of material resources between Christians in countries far from each other. persons in courageous contrast to the culture of his time. We think there should be more women staff and advisors in the LWF. We propose that there be more delegate participation in this assembly. It's very nice to sit up here and look all over the plenary hall and to see how many women are here and to see how many men are here who support the women. Thank you very much. And we as the black churches in Southern Africa want to say, even shit religious talk constipates, and we are constipated. We want to leave Budapest having vomited out this, and we need a medicine from this assembly. Bischof Kaldi, 136, Bischof Beuys, 52. For me, the way to this moment was a way of suffering, a real passion. But now, I do forget what is behind me and do my best to reach what is ahead and run straight towards the goal, pressed on towards future. Mm. 